Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Soul Work. I am your host, Jenny Cousins. And again, thanks to everybody for tuning in each and every week. And surprise, surprise, Miss Kimberly Buckler is back this week, everyone. And she is my delightful co-host. And good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good so. evening, absolutely. And we were just talking, and before, before we get into this, before I forget, I just wanted to say a big shout out to Morgan and his mother. We appreciate each week that you watch us. So I just wanted to say hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as we were just chatting, Kim and I were just chatting actually, and um, March we're in already of course, and um, from what I've been hearing and even some people around today we've been talking about, um, a lot of people are like, let's say tired. We're kind of in that lazy kind of state, right? And um, one of the reasons for that is we've had another solar flare coming, right? And what happens is, is when that happens, it gets really close to the earth. So we naturally get really drained. We physically get really tired. And if we don't pay attention and rest for that, then we're going to regret it if we don't mm -hmm. pay attention to that. We got to drink a lot more water too. Yeah, especially the water. Yes. Yeah, and I've been finding that less coffee in the morning and guzzling back a lot m more water. Yeah, a, a lot. Um, Definitely, because people are like, I'm so drained and and I'm getting so tired, and especially on the weekend, okay. you know. And even on the weekend, I was just, you know, I was just having my moments. I just didn't want to answer the phone or messages and. And I just needed just to lay on the sofa and do nothing. Yeah, I did that Saturday. I read all day. Yeah. Um, a big thing right now, too, is also to really pay attention. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, with your moods, with eat, making sure you eat properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pay attention to what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. Go with that gut instinct. Yeah. Um, we got to start listening a lot more. Yeah, we do. We, we absolutely do. And, Be and oh. not dismissing ideas that come through your mind, too. Yeah. So if you get this really yeah. bizarre thought that comes into your mind, jot yeah. it down, remember it, because yeah. ten, 10 to 1, something's going to happen within an hour of that. Yeah, yeah ab so absolutely. Premonitions. Cause, yeah, because more information yeah. is indeed coming through. I've been getting a lot, I've been getting flooded with a lot more information and a lot more people who have passed on very much around mm -hmm. me. Even people who had passed on years ago, they're all of a sudden been coming to me this past, I would say seven to 10 days really. Okay. You know, some of them are just sitting there smiling and then all of a sudden you'll see um, a picture like even yesterday when I was on Twitter actually, somebody sent me a message and I thought to God, it was my friend Trent who had passed on and I'm like, oh my God, the picture looked identical to him. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, is when you see something like that, it could be a picture or all of a sudden somebody could walk right by you and you're like, wow, you know, you look like somebody, but they passed on. It's that person coming through, okay. giving you a message, mm -hmm. right? So when mm -hmm. energies get stronger and such like that, I get more people who have passed on coming to me even with the full moon energies okay. too. Yeah. And um, a thing to remember is um, we always have people around us, not always, but people around us that pass away. Yeah. And this is kind of neat because yeah. same thing's happening this week as the last mm -hmm. time on the show um, is the way I feel the energy. So mm -hmm. when people pass on, mm -hmm. we need to let them go. We need mm -hmm. to let them go with blessings. Mm -hmm. We can't hold people back. If people are really mm -hmm. sick, mm -hmm. let them go. Yeah. Their spirit, yeah. their soul needs to yeah. um, go on yeah. and continue on. Because mm -hmm. if we don't, then it drags yeah. us down and it changes our energy. So yeah. it, it, it does. And, and sometimes, too, like they'll, um, if somebody is ill and, and they do want to pass, mm -hmm. right, then, you know, sometimes they'll even linger on and hold on because they know we're really upset as well. Yeah. Right. Um, but I always leave that up to, you know, them to make that decision I not I never hold anybody back yeah you know when it's their time to go yeah. right because March is about change yeah it, it is about change embracing change and March is also represents expect the unexpected yeah right with certain things certain events yeah that's for sure and then um, yeah just going back to that energy of letting people go because I can feel mm -hmm. that so it's like paying attention to how your body reacts right now. Mm -hmm. I feel at the base of my spine, so mm -hmm. I know somebody's here that mm -hmm. somebody has not 
let that person go. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know we love people dearly. It could be in a mm -hmm. present relationship. Yeah. It could be an old relationship. It could mm -hmm. be somebody that's passed over to the other side. Yeah. You've got to let them go. Yeah. You allow them to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because when you hold mm -hmm. on to people, your energy goes down. You yeah. get tired. You it gets get drained. sick. Yeah. It, it, it gets drained. Because I was even talking to a friend of mine even last week, and um, their partner had passed on a few years back, mm -hmm. right? And um, we all grieve in our own way, of mm -hmm. course. And, you know, they're still so really hung on to that. And they're not moving forward because of that. You know, yeah. my heart goes out to them. Yeah. Right? And, you know, there's only so much that you can say, of course, because it's up to the person when, you know, they're ready to let that person up. Yeah. But if we hold on to certain things for so long from our past, we don't move forward and we miss out on so many doors opening and opportunities coming in in a lot of different ways. We do. Yeah. And to look at the yeah. situation, like say if we lost a mother, father, sister, brother, what were the mm -hmm. blessings of having mm -hmm. that person in your life? Mm -hmm. You think of the good yeah. times. Don't yeah. think of the despair. Think of the good times. Mm -hmm. Celebrate. Celebrate yeah. that time they spent with you. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's really important. It, it is. It, it, it really is. I mean, every, every night I always have a candle going myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, regardless if it's in the summer months or in the winter months you know I had candles going in, and a friend of mine had come over and he's like oh wow you lit candles for me and I'm like actually no I didn't I said I always have them going on mm -hmm. every night I just mm -hmm. feel you know more more grounded with the candles on you feel more of an essence around them okay. you know that that's just me like even the set I always have candles because it brings yeah. in more angels attracts more energies and such yeah. there's always energies hanging around on the set yeah because they know we're coming so they're like yeah. oh they're here now yeah. so then they come and they're like oh they're here now let's just play around with things right yeah. oh it's neat <laughs> you feel them in a different way so oh, you yeah. came in you could feel them around me you know i came in and i sat down here and i can feel <laughs> that energy up my base and my spine so it's kind of neat or yep. if somebody's yeah. got a message yeah. to share i usually feel it up in the forehead yeah. area and i know yeah i know there's yeah. something just to share and say yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. So it, it's about like not holding back to, right, you yeah. know, like releasing what needs to be released, right? Um, you know, March is also new beginnings, of course, spring coming in. Yeah. You know, we turn the clocks forward this weekend too, right? And you're going to find that things are going to move more quicklier. Yeah. Right. When we keep struggling with something to try to change something, that's when we're on the wrong path. When things are flowing the way they should be flowing, we know that we are indeed moving forward. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And things are and also if things are pre being presented to you and you've been shown many times that you can mm -hmm. do something, mm -hmm. don't be stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> Allow yourself to yeah. get immersed in it, put that effort into making those changes. Because yeah. if we don't put that yeah. effort in, that's yeah. when again Absolutely. like you said we stay stuck and stagnant yeah. yeah you will stay stuck and it's and it's very important to do as I do every morning mm -hmm. right especially let's say if I know I have like a challenging day for instance mm -hmm. right I'll do more positive more mantras in the mm -hmm. morning Just even before I get out of bed I'll start doing positive mantras it's gonna be a really really good day regardless of what even let's say if I was going to a funeral Right, I'd, you know, it's going to be more of a challenging day, let's say, for instance. I'll say, you know what, it's going to be a really good day. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of new beginnings are happening here. Yeah. You know, a lot more friends, all, everything like that. You have to stay in the zone of being positive. And I've also found that um, even lately, you know, people that have been coming over, it's all been about relationship issues. March is a, is a month for relationship issues with this right and we're getting people I'm finding that there's certain people that are so attached to people to relationships mm -hmm. that they're not letting go they're okay. trying to again force certain situations and it's like you know what you can't force any situation no. you, you leave it up to spirit you surrender the situation if something is truly meant to happen it's going to happen it will right yeah. and then you got no I'm so attached to this I don't want to let him go or I don't want to let her go and and it's like why would you want to hold on to someone you cannot control someone yeah. and when you let go another door opens up yes. and you're going to be blown away absolutely what comes through that door yep. yeah because if you stay attached to a person let's yeah. say for instance you miss out on so many opportunities because you've closed the door on opening up a new door yeah. and you're not seeing clarity because you're okay. living in that illusionary world yeah it could right? be with work it could anything. be anything yeah anything, anything. 
So you got to stay open and go with the flow and stay in the now. Because if you don't, you won't move forward. And the illusionary world is not a place to be. Yeah. Right? And we're also, by the way, Calgary, I'm getting a little single here. We are going to be taking calls tonight. And we do want to hear from you. And what is that number, Kim? It is 403-539-6710. <laughs> So, Calgary, we will be right back after this commercial break to take your calls. Hang in there. Levitt Machinery WHL Hockey is live on Shaw. Watch Friday, March 6th, when the league-leading Kelowna Rockets renew hostilities with their BC Division rival, Vancouver Giants. Levitt Machinery WHL Hockey. Only on Shaw. That was pretty good. Is that a pirate's boss? Yes, it be. That is so dope. I still have me arms. Awesome. Alexandra and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You have no idea the kind of day we are having. <laughs> Every seven minutes in the time it takes to catch a bus. Take a shower. Make a latte. Every seven minutes. Someone dies from heart disease or stroke. Take a moment to recognize the risk factors that may affect your health by visiting heartandstroke.ca. Find out how you can make important lifestyle changes now to help make sure time is always on your side. Live the life you deserve every minute of it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Work. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and this is my co-host, Miss Kimberly Buckler. And we are officially now taking calls. And what is that number again, Kim? 403-539-6710. And our first caller is Karen. Oh, we have a caller ready. Hello, Karen. Hi. Hi, hi. how are you tonight? Hello. Oh, hi, how are you? Good. Good. And your question for us tonight, Karen? Well, it's really ironic because what you're talking about is exactly yep. what I wanted to phone you about. Yep. And I'm doing all that. I'm yep. waking up in the morning saying, instead of, oh, what an awful day. I'm going, okay, it's going to be a great day. <laughs> and, and I'm, I, um, But I'm wondering mm -hmm. about friendships because um, I'm, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to meet new women. I've got a, um, a vision board and I've got, I found a, a cute card with lots of girls on the beach type of thing. I don't want, like, yeah. hundreds of friends, but just, you know, a few. But the question I'm asking is the friends that I said goodbye to, like I had Yeah, you had, to, you had to say goodbye to those. And, and what, what you're doing is you're holding on to that. It's like, okay, how come I haven't met anybody yet? How come I'm not meeting new friends? And the reason you haven't met any friends right now is because you have to spend more space and time alone. Right, and you're thinking, well, I have spent a lot of time alone already. Yes, you have, but you really get to know, you really have to find out who you are because it's about law of attraction. We attract people into our life, especially friends in certain situations of who we are and what energy we're sending out. So you still got to get to know who you are more for you to attract the right type of friends into your life. Okay, because I'm... Like Excuse I'm trying me. to be positive and I'm trying to be nice. And yeah, you don't force things. You got to accept yourself for who you are, right? And you just have to be you because the bottom line is, is it's like, you know what? This is me. Take it or leave it, right? Um, and, you know, it's like if I'm going to have a friend, let's say, in my life, they, you know, this is me, right? Yeah. Nobody is perfect. And, you know, you've just got to just surrender to it. You can go out and, you know, join lots of different things and do things. And when working. you're going out, there, it's, it's like if you yeah. want to go out and find a relationship, we can go out and find any relationship we want, but is it the right one? Right? You don't want to just attract anybody into your life to be your friend, let's say, and have that person be the wrong friend for you. Yeah, and just, just just always go by your gut instinct because I find when I meet someone, I usually know right away whether that friendship is meant to be, and usually that you get that funny feeling or a queasy feeling. 
So just sort of watch. I, I've uh, sat back and observed for a lot of years and sat back and watched people. And if you feel crazy or you, mm -hmm. you don't feel well, mm -hmm. you, know the, you know that friendship's not to, meant to be. And that's the best thing is yeah. to be able to say no mm -hmm. before something gets going and yeah. you back, go back into that same yeah. situation. So get, go out and be more social. Oh, I am. I've joined Excuse clubs, <laughs> and I've joined this. and But I'm wondering, wh I'm just wondering if this one relationship, if I made the wrong decision. like if No, you I, didn't. You didn't. No? Because, no, you didn't, right? We can always have separations in that. And the reason why you're thinking over that you made the wrong decision <laughs> is because you got really no other friends right now, in a way. Okay, yeah. so then we have a tendency to say, it's, it's like a relationship. We're in a relationship, and then all of a sudden we're not. So then we kind of have that lonely moment. So then we're thinking, oh, maybe I should pick up the phone and call them again. No, wrong no, thing to do. No, I don't want to do that. So it's the same <laughs> thing with the friendship. So get yourself involved with more groups and hang in there, right? And what I would do is say, you know what, Spirit, please send the right friends to me. But it's all about law of attraction. See, with me, I attract a lot more spiritual people into my life, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and I won't That's tolerate I people who, you know, manipulate or control or would treat me with any disrespect. I don't have people like that in my life. I get rid of them if I see anything like that coming near me, right? So mm -hmm. you just stay true to yourself and just be yourself. And you're going to find you're going to start attracting more people. This, this springtime, when things really start to warm up even a little bit more, April even next month, you're going to start to meet new people. I see you mingling a lot more, so hang in there. Uh, August. It, it's almost like seeing you amongst a little group of people in August. So be patient. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. yeah. Our son has moved back in. Am I driving him crazy? Like, it just, we had such a, I don't know. It, it, there's something going on in the house. I don't know. What. Yeah, it's a lot of, you got a lot of negative energy um, in the house that you have to clear out right now, Karen. But we actually have um, many other people on hold right now. Oh, okay. Yes, and we thank you for calling in. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye. Right. Um, our next caller is Carla. Carla. Hi. 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 Your question. Hi. So, my question is, I have um, travel planned here in the spring but of course I'm coming out of a bit of a dark time and financially it's not okay right now wondering if I should continue with those plans or I should just maybe plan something a little bit more close to home um, if if uh, if you do decide to take that long time vacation type thing the further away vacation um, honestly you're gonna learn a lot on that vacation and um, it, it's really going to open up your eyes to see what it is you want in life and what you don't want in life. So that would be an investment for you. Okay, but, you know, we also have to balance out the reality. So if you did want to go, like, somewhere more closer, um, you know, that's more financially in your budget, you could do that as well. But in the back of your mind, you're still going to be thinking, I should have went on this other place. Were you going to go in May? Yes. Um, e either you could do half that trip in May or you could do a longer trip in October. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's up to you. You got to balance things out and being realistic. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to like stretch yourself. Right. Um, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's got to be when, you know, you're going to be happy because the last thing you want to do is go on a vacation and think, oh my God, like you know, worry about money, 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 money. You don't want to put yourself in that position. Yeah, so it'd be like, say if you were going to go for a month, it'd be like instead of maybe two weeks in May or wait till October, and then you could do that full yeah. month. Yeah, So it will happen for yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely, and it's all about divine timing. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So you'll be okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. very you're, much. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. Okay, okay and our next caller is Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy? Hello? Hello? Okay, I think we lost her. <laughs> we lost but, Dorothy? Yeah. Somebody will be through soon. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, go yeah. with that gut instinct. And then I, and the, the first girl that called and wanting to get in connect, connected re again with her friend we've got a there's a reason why it finished in the first time and you go yeah. back to that ref, 
friendship, but you're going to find the same patterns over yeah, and over again. Yeah, exactly. And then, and it's the same thing. Like whenever we, um, even let's say if you take like a spiritual path, let's say, mm -hmm. it can be a really, um, you know, lonely path right because we start to get a lot more clarity of who we are mm -hmm. and then we realize how different we are than others okay. and how much you know we can't have certain people you know in our lives because we realize we've changed so much yeah that's true yeah. we do have mm -hmm. another caller linda linda hello okay. hello hi and your question for us linda i'm inquiring about my health i've had some health issues in the last couple of years and not sure if they're not recurring again so I'm inquiring about that um, yeah um, you, you've noticed that you've been a little bit more tired right yes yeah um, see if it's just recently you've been a little bit more tired I just really feel it's almost like you need to change your diet and you need to kind of get out there and be just a little bit more active right okay. um, it's it's like you're missing something it's like you need to do like a cleanse with your yeah, body because it all that. I started to do it and the, my lymph nodes are swollen a bit yep yep so stress and I had uh, lymph node cancer three years ago yeah yeah oh, uh, a lot of times when our body gets run down from stress and yeah. I, I got a funny feeling if you looked at the pattern when it started the first time and when it started now stress was linked to that absolutely and mm -hmm. the idea is to replenish that back into your system it could be vitamins could be minerals we got to keep on replenishing yeah. our system yes right Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, I have a lot of stress. My sister's got stage four cancer, and she's not going to make it. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, it really adds on, right? Yeah, it and, sure does. And the more stress, of course, you know, even Kim says, our immune system goes down. Exactly. Right? So when our immune system goes down, you know, we're going to catch more colds and flus, let's say. And also, you know, it does affect us, as you can clearly see. But you also have to take that time out for you right because it's, it's it's like somebody let's say who's a healer you know they can you know they can do healings on everybody else but if they're not keeping themselves balanced or centered they, they can't do their proper work right That's so true. we so we have to take that time out for ourselves and get that rest that is truly needed right now well i'm taking a trip next week for two weeks to go to panama so hopefully i'll get some rest down yeah there. You, okay. yeah you need to take some rest and absolutely and and you what you need to do is build up that pranic energy with you that prana energy so when you're you're getting in the sun just close your eyes and vision the sun going right through your body like especially okay. around your abdomen your, around your stomach area your solar plexus just vision it going right through you okay. and that will help clear it out yeah. Is that that that's just like a little healing right there the energy work right there the vitamin d from the sun is excellent for depression yeah. and also another one for depression too i'm not a doctor and i can't prescribe but the b complex yeah so yeah. i went through something a week ago when i got onto the vitamin b's again so yeah. vitamin b yeah. is for stress too mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so you need to balance yourself and be centered within before we can help other people like if i was run down let's say and had the flu and i had you know, five clients today, let's say, for instance, I wouldn't, I would reschedule my clients. Sure. Right? Yeah. Because it's not going to, it's not going to be good. So okay. it's like, first of all, you have to think of yourself and get yourself rebalanced. And then you can, you know, be there more for your sister because you don't want to get run down so yeah. badly that it's going to run into problems with you. And it's starting to happen. We get yeah. little red flags with certain things and we got to pay attention to that. That's exactly okay. it. Okay. Yes. Thank you're welcome. So much. Enjoy welcome. your holiday. Take yes. care. And we have time for one more call. Call Thank you. And you're welcome. Dorothy? Thank you. Dorothy. Yes. Hi. How are you today? Very good. And your question for us? Yes. Um, I have a question for you. It's I'm going through um, another phase in my life, and I'll be celebrating my 60th birthday and uh, the 21st of March, and I was wondering if you could feel or see anything that I should be cognizant of or look for? Um, you actually might find that um, a couple of days after your birthday, right, you could feel a little bit of sadness with it, right? It, it's okay. almost, yeah, um, not that it's a, it's, a, it's a bad thing, so don't worry, um, okay. but it, because what I feel that you're going to be doing for a couple of days after, really could be two, even three days after, you're going to be doing a lot of reflecting back, um, mm -hmm. you, you know, upon everything, you know, from childhood to, you know, to your age right now. And you're also going to be releasing and letting things go even more. You okay. do need to drink a lot more water, right? Because you're releasing. 
right? You, okay. there's still, it's almost like you still need some healing um, to go through yet to release, right? We could be 80 and still doing healings, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's yes. a lifelong journey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it is actually. So you've got a lot of energy around you, meaning, you know, people who have passed on that are there for you. And it's almost like I see a man um, who, who had passed on, and he's standing there, and he's clapping. He's cheering you on for some yeah. reason. Like, you can do it, Dorothy. You can do it. What is that? I don't know. Um, yeah. there, when you started talking, I got this really giddy feeling. <laughs> Um, okay. there's, there's something, I, a sense that there's something you've been wanting to do, but you keep on postponing it. I don't know if it's a trip or it's something you've really wanted to do, and you keep on finding excuses not to do it. Fast forward it. Yes. Start it now. But smoking is be the, probably the issue. Yeah. Yeah, but there's something yeah. you've wanted to, to do, do for fun. I don't know what it is, whether it's oh, join a boiling, yeah. bowling league or whatever yeah. it is. Fast forward that and stop making excuses. Yeah. You're going to really enjoy yourself. Yeah, ex exactly. Right. It's, it's like, let's say, and I don't know why I'm seeing this. I don't know if this is relating to you, but it's almost like I see you in a boat, right? Um, and it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. So it's almost like there's certain fears that hold you back. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, oh, you know, I'd like to do that. But no, I don't want to do that. But yeah, I could see. But no, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, the holding back. I felt that, too. So, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, now is the time to really start doing that, because what happens is, is whenever we start to face our fears, let's say, you know, mm -hmm. whenever I have a fearful situation, we all do. Right. I will say, right. you know what? Bring it on. Just bring it on. What's Panama right? mean? Panama. Okay. Panama? Well, I'll give that a thought. Thank you okay. very much, yeah. ladies. I appreciate yeah. it. You have, it's, it's like just bring it on. We've all got fears with certain things, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes when we get overwhelmed with so many things, it's like, you know what, universe, spirit, just bring it on because whatever it is, I don't care. I'll deal with it and I'll nip yeah. it right then and there. When we do that, when we confront things, we resolve things instantaneously almost, mm -hmm. right? When we don't resolve issues, you know, it lingers and it doesn't resolve. And then we look back another years go by and we're like, oh, I should have this and I should have that. And and I should have done that, yeah. and if I only, all of this, and you don't want to do that, Once you right? But I'm it. seeing the plot, the, the plot, so it, it very well, I don't know if it's like you're quitting smoking or something, or something that you are going to do, because I don't know if it's your father, grandfather, but they passed on quite some time ago, or, you know? But we're yeah, already, no, my, yeah, let's go on. My, my dad's still alive, he's in his 80s, and yep. he's fabulous so okay but there's my someone mother else passed away but but it's a male figure but i'm already getting the wrap-up sign unfortunately i don't okay, need to cut you off fine. thank and you very you're much welcome. Ladies, and you have a lovely evening y you too and we want to thank everybody who calls in each and every week we we do appreciate you more than you know and we want to sh thank shaw tv for allowing us to continue on our program and i am your host jenny cousins this is my co-host Kimberly Buckler and if you've missed any of the shows they're all on YouTube just search under Jenny Cousins and you'll find them because there's been a lot of amazing amazing wonderful guests on here and you have yourself a great night Calgary and rest pay attention to your body and get some rest good night everyone see you next Wednesday live Proceeding was a community access program. Shaw is proud to support local producers and share local voices, ideas, and opinions. For more information, please visit shawtv.ca. Opinions expressed in this programming do not necessarily reflect the views of Shaw or its employees. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us today for Go Calgary. Today we are at the glorious estate hotel known as Azur Ridge here in Pritis, Alberta. We're having a great time. We're going to tell you all about what this amazing place has to offer, including its butler program. So many cool things here and a lot of great stories from local Calgary coming up right now on Go Calgary.
oyster shucking definitely isn't as easy as it looks as Ryan Massell recently found out, but he did manage to get some tips from the best in Canada. We're here at what is soon to be one of Calgary's newest restaurant institutions, Rodney's Oyster House. And we're here not with Rodney, but his son. And his son is maybe just a little...